With InsideWorks, we can use our advanced warehouse management system for uh, picking and shipping. Let's go and see what it looks like. We're going to head to sales orders and we're going to make ourselves a sales order specific for this example. New. Selecting Additum. And we are going to, uh, they've just given us a purchase order number. And we're going to scroll down. And we're looking at an Athens, Athens desk. Now, our warehouse location we're using for today is Demo. You can see here we've got 15 units stock on hand. I'm going to scroll down to our location here and change that to demo. Okay, so the location's updated. We've got ourselves a quantity and we're going to take two of these. All right, now that just there, that gives us the capacity now to turn around and uh, look at releasing this document. Being that we've got sufficient stock, if we create a warehouse shipment, Again, we're using advanced warehousing. The shipment will trigger creating a pick, and if the settings are turned on, it will print the pick sheet out in the warehouse ready to go. I've turned off printing. However, the trigger here is configured on release. So let's hit release. And there we go. It now belongs to the warehouse. We've got now a source document, which is 101188 for shipment 44. What you'll notice just here is we've got a shipment here relating to 101188, which is the sales order number, and we'll have a pick relating to the same number. So you'll see that as a source document number. Now, noting here, this doesn't have to be your columns. I can click and hold, choose columns. I can add the, a, I've got the source number. I would like to add the name and bring that right up the top. Okay. So now I've got the name and I'm going to take this signed user ID right at the top. I've got the number and we've got the document number. So that should give us what we're wanting and the reference number. Let's turn that on. Let's hit OK. All right, now we've got this ready to go. We can see our pick here. I've got some codes here and so we're going to go through the pick process. So let's do it. So double click. This gives us our pick. And the instructions are at the bottom. It's saying scan the bin and it's saying it's in AO2. So it's telling our staff member where to go. So I'm just going to scan AO2. It now says scan the item. I scan the item. It's going to prompt a picture for two seconds. And it's just reduced the quantity by one. Now you can have different units of measure. Um, we can do all sorts of things there. That picture can be really annoying if you're scanning down one at a time. Um, however, it's just an example of the system's capability. So this pick's done. We've picked it as far as we're concerned. Um, if we go back to this warehouse shipment, um, we're really at a point where the shipment is uh, the shipment 44. Once we've picked, we just go post. Yes. And as far as the warehouse is considered, the stock is now moved into the shipping bin from where it was before. The next thing we do is on the uh, in the warehouse, you normally have a warehouse computer. So let's go back. And it will be on what's called the package worksheet. And so the staff walk over to the package computer and they scan off their pick sheet. Beep, shipment 44. And it says, this desk is going out to this particular customer through this freight method. I'm going to change that to Australia Post. Um, just for this demo, hit OK. I can see here there's two desks, and we've then got the ability to set what this is going out on. So the first thing it's saying is scan a package. Now the package is the carton type. We've created one called box one. So you would scan that as a code, beep, right? And then you would scan the item. And now you scan the quantity, and I'm packing one. There we go. We've now got a license, a license plate or a package number assigned against the shipment. 
Now we're going to turn around and do box one again. It's a very small table, 30 by 30 by 30. And we're going to do the item again. Beep. And we've got a quantity of one. So now we've got two boxes that is going to go out on this. So step one, we've packed the shipment. Step two, there'll be a command called get label. Usually sitting on the desk as a barcode, we scan it, beep, and it will turn around and give us the ability to select the rate of which we're going out by. So at this stage, um, I've, I've got this in demonstration mode, so there's no rate card, but what it will usually show you is your different rates and costs. And if you've not limited the freight, it will show you Australia Post, Star Trek, Toll, all of your different freight companies down here and the cost of which that's going out by. I'm going to hit OK. All right, and this is obviously the, um, the parcels, the service is called ASDDAS. We've obviously done that setting up. Um, and it would normally inject back into here the package tracking number straight away. Um, a, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right. The last step. So step one is to pack it. Step two is to get label. As soon as you've hit OK, your Australia Post labels for two boxes have just printed out. Zoop, zoop, straight out your printer. All right. You don't have to log into Australia Post. You don't have to go book the freight. You don't have to say how big and how heavy the cartons are. It's all done part of the process. The last thing you scan is post. And as you post, an invoice is issued. Now looking up in posted sales invoices, you can see that the invoice was issued. If I click on the invoice, I can see here that I've, I've uh, invoiced the customer. Um, it will have been sent off to the customer based on our configuration and the package tracking number, which was entered, has been stored. You'll also find against posted sales shipment, is your shipping docket and that's been completed for this shipment. As you can see here, there's a completed shipment and it has all of the relevant tracking information against the shipment and this shipment would have been sent as a receipt to the customer. So between the two processes, from the Zebra, you've got the ability to pick you then, from the computer, are using the dynamic ship task, which is called the package worksheet. The package worksheet already knows weight and measurements, and you go through three steps on the computer, and you've got your dockets.